Yo, welcome to Black Man Will Travel. How you guys doing? Um, let's let's get into this, man. Um, you know <laughs> the title of this video should be Black Man Gone Rogue. You know, but um, I, I I might have just changed it up. But anyway, man, just wanted to make this video as far as you know, uh, brothers traveling. You know, um. Just, you know, just getting out there, um, pr probably just, you know, you know, just doing it full time, you know, whether they, you know, tra traveling overseas, you know, or, you know, working overseas and uh, doing the leisure time, you know, they're getting out and stuff like that. But this is just basically talking about, you know, employment and the opportunities, you know, that we have in our, you know, current professions and whatnot. And so... Uh, I just fall. I just uh, um, saw this uh cool article, man. I think it's uh called uh, expertvagabond.com, and it's, it was posted by this guy, what Matthew Carston, man. So it was like 33 best travel jobs to make money traveling, you know. But um, the good thing they covered is you know um the certain um you know names that we use for people who are like you know expat um i think you have like the nomadic you know traveler and whatnot let's go over that real quick man i'm not sure if he's the writer or not but cool pick you know so you know so you got the travel tips and whatnot but let's go over the so you got the expat, digital nomad, and the va vagabond, okay? As far as, like, the jobs and reference to the jobs, you know what I'm saying? So you got the expat jobs, right? And then you got the expat, you know, and the expatriate, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's either you, that can be anybody from a foreign country going into another country. And uh, they're more or less uh, working there. Uh, you see, for like a few months, uh, you know, to uh, you know, a couple of years at a time, you know what I'm saying. But um, don't be surprised, man. You find a lot of retirees in some of these countries, you know, like Thailand or Chiang Mai and whatnot. Uh, you know, Philippines, they got expat communities up in there. You got people that you know, obviously at work. Or whatnot, but mostly uh, some some of these guys you find them like retired and they they work doing some some other jobs and whatnot. But so you got the expat, and you got the English teacher, you know, like loser Laiwai in China. He's an English teacher, you know. Then you got nannies and whatnot, and then you got foreign service representatives with as far as like with the government. Then you got the digital nomads right here. People who work from their computers, bloggers, or whatnot, and that can be, um, you know, sales rep. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, you got access to, you know, the internet and whatnot. You can make phone calls on your, you know, your computer, man. I I, I even use my phone. I, I even use my computer to answer my cell phone, <laughs> which which is crazy. I don't even know how they got linked up like that, but I mean, you know, I was just pressing buttons and. Yeah, so they end up merging and whatnot. So, anyway, for example, uh, you got online business. You can start your own online business, freelance writing, social media, etc. Anything that has to deal with online, as far as making money online, right? Then you got the vagabonds, right? So this is what I covered in the um, the the video regarding, you know, part time jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like just easy, like you know, jobs that low skill jobs or whatnot. Um, so vagabonds do work that, um, I'll call alternative travel jobs, you know? So, um, uh, he said, uh, what is he described as work that, uh, may not require a computer, but more hands-on approach. So it's a more hands-on approach. Like I said, you know, labor, you know, manual labor, okay. Artistic work, you know, think musician, artistic, manual labor, um, so some of those manual labor jobs could be high skilled, okay, but, you know, they don't require you to use a computer or anything like that, 
um, um, like like with some of these jobs, you, you know, you can come and go, you know, like construction, and that's anywhere, man. That's anywhere. Like in, um, I think in Dubai, they they bring in skilled workers, um, and then and those skilled workers, you know, leave <laughs> after they're done. You know what I'm saying? But they got like a whole little village and everything set up for them. And you'll see that in some uh, remote areas, maybe maybe like uh, areas like maybe like Alaska or somewhere up in the, uh, you know, in the mountains and uh, you know, northwest and stuff like that. Where they, you know, places where they got mining or you know, this this anything regarding this this high intensive like lot lot of labor, but it's always in like a, some type of remote area. You know what I'm saying? So manual labor right there. But like I said, you know, like street vendor, you don't have to have much skills for that. Uh, musicians, not everybody can be a musician, but like farm work, you don't have to have like the best skills, you know, as far as like, you know, farm work. OK, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's that's easy, you know, so vagabond work or whatever like that. Um, but pretty much work that you can like take anywhere you know what i'm saying you don't really, really necessar necessarily need to communicate all that much with anybody you know so anyway so he got the best uh travel jobs with 2018 let me move on let me, let me move along here um here goes the list man bartender like i said man bartender is great it's the tips man it's the tips and then you can uh travel tour guide Travel tour, 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 tour guide. You can do that in your own city. You don't necessarily have to, you know, travel. I mean, you can do that anywhere, but, you know, you, you guys, if you want to, you know, like practice or anything like that, you can probably, like, get into that in your own city, man. So, freelance translator. I have a friend that's in uh, Spain. She does that. I think she speaks a little Portuguese, English, and uh, she speaks fluent Spanish. She's She's a Spaniard. Um, yeah, man. And she does freelance writing, too. So, you know, so. I work at a uh, backpacker hostel. You can do that. I don't know. What else they got here? The fitness instructor. instructor we went over that one. Yeah. Teach English abroad, man. You can teach English to the kids, man. Teach English. Easy. That's in high demand. Uh, writer. You can do that anywhere. Like I said, my friend in Spain, she does that. You know, translate. She writes. Massage therapist. Easy. You know. Uh, graphic design, you can do that anywhere as long as you have access to the internet, man. Yeah, working on a uh, cruise ship or a yacht. That's one of them. That's a, that's a great one, you know what I'm saying? That's a good one. Blogging. What else? You, what, what do we got here? Professional chef. He's like, really? Yeah. Professional chef. All right. See what else day trading. Now I just spoke with a friend that does some day tra trading, man. Now he was working one of those oil rig jobs. You know what I'm saying? He was working one of those oil 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 uh, rig jobs. Uh, it was like in a remote area, but you know uh, a lot of those jobs uh kind of like off the beaded path and whatnot. And he was thinking to him to himself, he was like, man, you know. You know, I'm barely seeing my family, you know what I'm saying? My kids are young. You know, I got probably some good money set up. I've been, like, doing this day trading, you know, on my, you know, learning how to do it for a couple of years. Let me do it full time. Well, he's doing it full time. Uh, I'm not sure if he's enjoying himself. He said he's he's got a lot of added stress, you know. But um, I guess it's working out for him, you know what I'm saying? So I guess it's working out for him, because um, uh, other than that, he 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 didn't just say he didn't say he had any financial issues. He just said he was kind of stressed. But uh, I'm gonna have to follow up with him on that one. All right.
So you got day trading. Yeah, it, it might not be like this, okay? <laughs> My guy wasn't clean shaven when I last spoke to him. <laughs> so, and he wasn't drinking no margaritas either. So let's see what else we got here. Street vendor. Easy, man. Easy. Uh, you can do festivals. I think we went over something like that. It's pretty much the same with street vendor. Sports uh, instructor. Sports instructor. I got a friend that does that in Spain. She does that too. You know, she's a basketball coach. She does every darn thing, you know. And she been, but she loves to travel. You know what I'm saying? She loves to travel. Great picture here. That's great artwork. That's that's nice. Like nanny, a pair. I guess that's French for nanny or something like that. I don't know what that is. You know, Google Translate. Okay. What else we got here, man? Flight attendant. I got a friend that does. The, I don't. I think. I don't know whether he's like a host or a flight attendant or something like that. But he, the guy's all over the place. You know what I'm saying? He's in New York. He's here. He's there. Um, he's he. You know, you, uh, man, I'm telling you, man. This guy, he socializes with the the best of them. This brother socializes with the best of them. He's always going somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they get the the frequent flyer mileages or something like that. I, I don't know. But this guy is always out as a flight attendant. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he's not exactly a flight attendant, uh, but he's some kind of flight representative or something like that. I don't know. I just know he gets around a lot, man. Always taking pi uh, pictures. Uh, foreign service? No. That's what the government, the GI job. Guy says my wife Anna worked for the Polish embassy in London. There you go. Bam. Photographer, easy. You know, easy. As far as making your money, I mean, it's uh, you know with these photo stocks and everything like that. You know, people people paying you all type of money do photo shoots and stuff like that. Uh, beauties in the eye beholder, but you know, here goes some sources. And this guy is also posting sources. I don't know if you've seen that. You know, he mentions the income range, but he posts he posts his, uh sources too on his uh his website on this article. Anyway, excuse me. Drop shipping, you no know, Amazon. Um, you know, selling products and whatnot. You know, people doing that on Facebook. People doing that on Instagram. Uh, they doing it all over. Um, you know, selling T-shirts, cups, and stuff like that, or, or um, you know, um, a re you know, reviewing products and stuff like that. You know, it can be anything. You know, what I'm saying it could be, it could be anything. You know, sh shoes, socks, or whatever like that. Wh whatever the you know they're branding, they're selling. You know. Musician, like I said, my friend's like a bartender. He's a musician. He, you know, he's gotten paid to travel all over the place. Airbnb. Now I don't know why they they mention that, but I mean, you know, I guess that would be for like an expat or something like that. That's got actually property somewhere, but I mean. You know, unless you got somebody managing your place, uh, I guess you can do that. Um, you know, and like I said, seasonal jobs. This is almost over. Gambling. Gambling. If you're a good gambler, man, if, if you can gamble and, you know, you're a winner, you don't take too many L's, you know what I'm saying? You're probably like, what? You know, uh, pr pretty much above like maybe 60, 70 percent as far as, you know, how, how you bet. You know, you, you're constantly winning. If you're good at betting or, you know, you got to like a, 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 you know, you, you, you know, you get a lot of wins and stuff like that. You know, you don't take too many L's. You could probably make a living off gambling. There's people that this, I mean, people do it. You know what I'm saying? Professional gamblers. I didn't think of that one. 
in that poker. Peace Corps, that's good if you want to pay off some student loans. <laughs> you know, that's good right there. You got the marketing going on. Yeah, man, this um this young lady that I was uh, talking to online, man, she wanted me to do some uh she wanted me to come visit and that's what she does. But she's from like Brazil or something like that, man. And she does like marketing, but she's like all over the place. You know. So she does like marketing. Got video work, vlogging, and whatnot, you know. Professional YouTuber. You got the nursing. What else we got here? Computer programmer. Skimming through some virtual assistant. Professional consultant. I'm sure speaking another language helps with that. You know, working holidays and whatnot. So let's move on. And I think that's it, bro. I think that's it. Well, we went over it, man. Uh, I'm going to put this in the group. You know what I'm saying? Put a link up to this in the group. Excuse me. Let's get to the top here. And I'm going to end it right here. Just want to finish it off with this this good picture right here. Man, just chilling out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just chilling. So, that's the goal, man. That's the goal right there. You know, just chill a little bit. You know, enjoy yourself. Thanks for listening. Go ahead and join the Facebook group, man. Black Man Will Travel. Subscribe. Uh, share. You know, leave a comment, man. Uh, sh share your stories, man. Just share your stories. You know, uh, sh share your ideas. You know, share your pictures and whatnot. And then, you know, we got, you know, the Instagram. At Real BMWT. Same thing on Twitter. At Real BMWT. All right, man. Thanks for listening. I'll catch you later. All right, bye.